Hello, welcome to Pro Mixing and Mastering. Uh, today I'm gonna teach you how to mix background vocals, and uh, I've got my song already opened up. This is a gospel song belonging to one of my artists. Before we go anywhere, welcome to Pro Mixing and Mastering family. Request for your own free plugin by using my number in the description below, and I will send you that free plugin. Welcome to the family. The vocals are dry, um, they're a little bit heavy and there's a lot of mud. Right before you begin mixing background vocals, you have to tell what the problem is. Like, I can tell that uh, there is a lot of mud and there is also a lot of uh, dirt which just needs to be cleaned up. And there are certain frequencies right now which are making the vocals to sound so very heavy. And also there is just need for restoration. There is need for denoiser. There is need for the crackle to remove crackles. Need for restoration. There is need for a compressor. If not one, then two. I also know the type of compressor that can work on this one. Like I, I need, they need like to be attacked with a warmer compressor. On other parts where maybe the vocal doesn't need to be warmed up, I think the compressor that can work on such vocals is CLA-2A. It brings out the presence. This is how you attack your background vocals. Before you mix, you've got to be able to tell which areas you're going to work on so that immediately you start working on those areas you won't have much a problem so what i'm gonna do is uh first thing create a group just come on the empty part go to add group channel track i'm gonna add a let it be in stereo left and right speaker and then i'm gonna create two groups one is gonna be for the leading vox and one is gonna be for the backing vocals so here we are one group one is gonna be for the lead and group two is gonna be uh for the backings now what i'm gonna do first is uh i'm going to before you pan the vocals to the right or to the left i'm gonna explain that later but for now the first thing that you gotta do is put your backing vocals into group two and your leading vocal into group one so here we, are, we go just click on the audio track go to uh stereo out and send it to so i'm gonna send it to group one so i'm done with the leading vocal then i'm gonna send all these to all you gotta do is go to the left side and go to stereo and then i'm gonna send this stereo out is gonna be to group two the same group two group two group two you know sometimes whenever i see that certain vocals just need an extra touch i send them to group three so group two but it depends on what kind of attack you want to use on your vocals so group uh group two and this is one of the hard lips i'm gonna send this to group one as well then we, we are done with our groupings so right now what i'm gonna do is try to reduce this leading vocal so i'm gonna reduce it to about five then what i'm gonna do is i'm going to come to my inserts and put in an ara vox which is more like a compressor it is a compressor so i'm gonna take I'm gonna take my R vox to a level where I feel like the vocal is a little bit warmed up. So here we go. All right, right there, the vocal is a little bit dry. So I'm gonna add in fx channels the same way i created groups so what you gotta do is just right click and go to add fx channels uh channel track and then i'm gonna pick my the first thing that i'm gonna pick is a reverb i think i'm gonna go with uh reverb 32 then i'm gonna click there it is then the second uh fx channel that i'm gonna create is gonna be for the delay i'm gonna go with h delay here we go click ok and here we are then I'm gonna put my put your delay on ping pong on BPM and then lo-fi 
we are going to come to uh, the delay bar right there later so for now just like that so now i'm gonna send in my group one my group one is gonna have some sends you go into sends then put in your reverb then i'm gonna also put in my h delay then i'm gonna do this put in my reverb don't let don't put too much reverb or else your vocals are not gonna sound good so i'm gonna send i'm gonna leave my reverb reverb for now on 26 then my delay is gonna be just slightly maybe uh 33 let me put my reverb on 20 then my my delay is gonna be on 33 for now then i'm gonna do the same to um the back the, the backings i'm gonna put just a little bit too much to about 22 the backings need a little bit of why does a sound much more space and this is why i have put a little bit of more reverb not too much just a little bit and then i'm not gonna add any delay to the backing vocals right now we have put our vox stereo in the leading vocal then i'm not gonna add any effect to the um backings unless if i feel like a certain set of uh backing vocals need an effect so here is how i recorded my vocals auto is one two three four tenor is one two three four and there is a contra which is like a, a high voice just one i just i just need one so i record everything in four just because i want to bring out that melody that sweetness so everything is in four 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 i'm gonna explain to you the reason why is it doesn't matter somebody might say but it's too much four you can i can even go to eight or sixteen if i want to because that's where panning comes in you pan certain vocals to the right certain vocals to the left certain vocals on the middle so it doesn't affect anything what you want to do is to create um space and create a certain melody that you have already created in your mind let me just close this i'm gonna take auto number one to hard right auto number two hard left auto number three i'm gonna put it on 45 then auto number two uh auto number four i'm gonna put it also on 45 then tenor i'm gonna take my tenor to the hard right hard left Tenor number, I'm going to put it on 50. Then I'm going to put also the other tenor left 50. Here we go. And once I'm done with that, my the, the contra, I'm going to leave it where it is. I'll come and work on it later. Let's start mixing the background vocals. And here we go. Let me just set this one here. And this one just has to come a little bit there. So it can keep rotating right there. All right. So I'm going to mute the first ones being the tenors and then I'm going to work on the autos. This is what I do. Mute the rest and remain with the other set so that you can be able to uh, blend it into the leading vocal. Remember, the backing vocals have to work together with the leading vocal. So here we go. And sometimes what I do is I mute so that I can be able to listen, uh, listen to what I'm working with. So right now I know where to touch. So I'm going to go to the volume right here on top and I'm going to reduce the volume a little bit. Here we go. So I feel like my auto is gonna be on 12 negative 12 dB for now. Then now I'm gonna go to um I'm gonna unmute the tenors, then I'm gonna work on the tenors just a little bit. Here we go. A little bit higher so here we go
I feel like uh, you, you see what I'm trying to do is trying to reduce the volume slowly until I reach a certain place where I feel like let me just leave them right there then I go to the next vocal let me try to go to the contra and mute and here we go I'm gonna do the same thing I feel like my tenor, my, my contra is gonna be on 15. Now, listen to it before I start doing the next thing that I wanna do. Now remember, I haven't EQ'd, I haven't compressed anything. So right now, I'm gonna go to the leading vocal, go to the leading vocal, just solo it up and add an EQ so that that same EQ can be used on the other back on on the backings as well. And if it works on the on the on the leading vocal, then it's gonna work because most of them she was singing uh, at the same time, at the same at the same minute, same time. She didn't do it like the second day or, or different studios she did it at the same place at the same time so i know right there that the frequencies are the same the standing was the same everything was the same maybe just a little bit a little minor changes here and there but all the same the frequencies i know the frequencies are going to be the same so what you do is mute the leading vocal and then try to eq it then you can copy the same eq and drop it down into group two and then the same eq is gonna work on the on the vocals as well so here we go i'm gonna go to my inserts then i'm gonna insert um fab Fura pro q3 then i'm gonna go drop it down to 30 db then i'm gonna do a low cut go down there uh shape is gonna be on low cut then uh the db oct slash oct is gonna be on 96 somewhere there now i'm gonna be doing this sweeping method while listening to uh the leading vox here we go One, two, Pantu and his son, a child now. Who could bomb me and fum? When would you my one to second? I feel like a hundred uh, point sixty eight somewhere there is good for me, it's cool for me. So I'm gonna leave it there for now. If I want more changes, a little bit of more cutting, I will come back. The next thing that I'm gonna do is try to sweep around uh, uh, searching for unnecessary frequencies. Here we go. So the first the, the first part that I love attacking or EQing is this area around uh, 200, 250, 100, 200, 250 and the 500. I love attacking this area. So I'm going to EQ this area. Make sure you EQ this area. Here we go. So I, I'm going to drop this to uh, negative negative three somewhere there let's see how it sounds like now before after next i'm gonna search for another frequency let me just narrow it up I don't like this, so I'm gonna drop it down to uh, negative two. Remember, what I'm doing is attacking unwanted frequencies. Then next, I'm gonna do it the same. I don't like this frequency, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop it down to. Uh, two, just a little, just a little. Don't overcut your uh, vocals. M you should make sure that the, your vocals should remain with body. That's what we want. Though you EQ, make sure that you EQ it in a professional way. Don't over EQ. 
This is before. After. We have cleaned up uh, certain areas. I think I love the way I have EQ'd right uh, for now. I love the way I've EQ'd. I can add one more, just, just a little bit. I need to EQ this just a little bit. I think I'm going to give it a dynamic EQ. So what I do is just come on the band that you want to do dynamic. Then I'm going to say make dynamic. Look at what will be happening now. So whenever that particular frequency gets detected, the dynamic EQ is going to do an EQ on it. Beautiful. Then I'm going to try to drop the, the locker just a little bit like this. And take it back to, remember I said I will go back. So I'm going to take it back to about 75. Remember, whenever you EQ well, your reverb starts standing out, like comes out, becomes alive. Just uh, for now, what I want you to, to listen to is how well the reverb has started coming out. It's like you're shaping the reverb. Listen to this. Before. Too much dirt uh, uh, in the in the area around 50, 100 and also 200. A lot of dirt and a lot of harming. But the moment you do your EQ well, everything disappears and the reverb just comes out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this save preset and I'm going to uh, name it as uh, backings. Here we go. Hit OK. Now what I'm gonna do is go to Group Two, go to Fab Fiora, and pick up Fab Fiora Pro, and go to my uh, load up my settings backings. There we go. Now I have the same settings in Group One and group, in Group Two. Now I'm gonna go to the backings and listen to the backings together with the lead in vocal. Wow, I love what is coming up right now. Just see little little changes like the the, the the an EQ and then I haven't added anything apart from EQ and uh reverb delay. That's all and tr just trying to balance. I showed you guys how to balance, just mute the vocals and work on them one by one. If they're in groups, work on the auto group, work on them and then group two, work on them and make sure whenever you, you record a lot of vocals, pan some to the right, pan some to the left, give some a 45 degrees, give them a, a 55% or a 50% or 65. It depends on how you want the sound to come out uh, through the speakers. What I'm going to do on my vocal, the leading vocal is that I'm going to add what I, what, what is called a compressor. So the compressor that I'm, that I'm going to use is uh, one of my favorites. I'm going to use our compressor and I'm going to work on the ratio. Then I'm going to work on the attack, the release, the, the threshold. Then once I'm done with uh, compressing, I know that some of the, the volume will be lost. So what I'm going to do is uh, this is where the gain knob comes in to bring back that lost volume. Here we go. Watch what is going to happen. My ratio is going to be on three, three to one. Watch what is going to happen as soon as I engage the threshold. Mute it up. And right there, you see this yellow uh, line popping up. 
it is because the compressor started compressing those areas which are high by dropping them down a little bit and those which are very low by increasing them up a little bit before the compressor the reason why um i want you to listen to this is because this area here is a little bit high like when she sings without the compressor it will pop up a little bit like this you see that watch what is going to happen the moment i engage the compressor the compressor is going to compress work on that area and make sure the air that that, that vocal doesn't pop out now it is smooth and equal yeah then before the vocals here this is how you measure so i'm gonna try to take back the gain a little bit to about four so the gain is about it is on four four point seven i think i'm not gonna work on the attack for now i will come back if necessary here we go together with the vocal then i'm gonna do the same settings i'm gonna load the same settings into the backings here we go backings and click ok go to the backings just go to the backings and uh go on the backings there we go same settings here we go What, what you should be listening to during uh, the mixing of backings is which vocal is coming out loud, which vocal is standing out, and if it, it, it is standing out, you work on it by dropping down, dropping it down just a little bit. Uh, right now, I hear a certain vocal trying to stand out, so I'm going to work on that vocal. Let me just find it. So it is this vocal right here. The rest of the autos are negative 12 dB. Then this one, I don't know what happened, is on negative 8.0 dB. So I'm gonna drop this same vocal, this this vocal, to the level of uh, this uh, auto. So here we go, negative 12. Let me listen to it. I feel like I have to uh, increase the co the contra a little bit. Um, I, I, I'm still trying to listen to the tenor. The right there what i'm gonna do with the backings is i'm gonna throw in um a multi-band compressor and try to dynamics then i'm gonna go to throw in a multi-band compressor just to bring out those uh highs a little bit so i'm gonna switch off switch off this and switch off i'm gonna work only with this band right there I'm 
Drop it down a little bit. Remember, it should not be too much. I think I'm satisfied. Now, I feel like uh, there's still something that I need to, to remove. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these and then hold control and then uh, right click and then go to plugins, go to restoration, restoration, and then I'm going to pick uh, RX, Isotope RX, the Krako. I just want to clean it up a little bit. It comes on default. The quality is going to be on high. The strength is going to be on 6.4. Then the amplitude skew is going to be on 0, 0. And then I'm just going to press process. All right, now that I have removed crackles, the next thing that I'm gonna do is uh, add in uh, from restoration, I'm gonna add in denoiser, just to remove the background noise. Remember, I'm not gonna add denoiser on top of the vocal, that was just the crackles. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add denoiser from here so that in case I want more noise or a little bit of less noise i'm gonna just go there and uh drop it down a little bit if you add the noise from this side you're not gonna be able to change it i use the quirko because i know those settings are just medium settings they work on the vocals you can't even tell that something has been worked on so right now go to restoration i'm gonna go to uh denoiser from cubase then i'm gonna set it on medium so i can remove some background noise listen to how it sounds like then I'm gonna do the same thing to uh, group one I'm gonna add a denoiser from Cubase then I'm gonna set it on medium here we go I love, I love, I love what the denoiser has done to, to the main vocals. Like the, the background, it, it has made it more clear. I love this. Then I'm going to go back to sends and just try to increase the delay a little bit to about 28. remember what i have just used is an eq this eq right there and our compressor this is how everything sounds like without effects turn them off turn them off turn this off and i'm gonna turn the backings uh the effects put in the backings off here we go Turn, I'm also going to turn off the reverb. And this is how they sound like with everything turned on. Reverb, denoiser, uh, I'm going to do the same to delay. Let me solo them, listen to them now. Wow. I'll see you guys in the next one in part two.